Hello. How are we? I had remembered this time that I was still in record mode, so you should be able to hear me now. How's everybody doing for a Wednesday? Excellent. Hope you're all having a good week. Hope uh, everyone's in good spirits. Mike works first time. Yes, indeed. So, um, yeah, we had a bit of fun with this last week. And do you know what? It's one of those things that you, uh, if you don't organise your course, it's a brilliant example of if you get yourself modelled up with auto drive and course play. So, Ed, who's slagging me off there, the base auto drive on this is brilliant, but I'm adding to it to build into fields and uh, kind of just kept everything a bit too compacted all squeezed in together so uh, if you're running more than one set of kit you start to get uh, um, squeezed very quickly so what I have done I have a little bit of a sort out in the week so we've pulled this forward now so you've got your field 17 entrance there and now we've got two loops we've got, uh, we're going to run two trailers on each of the choppers rather than four and let them work it out um, and uh, we're going to we're going to basically try and give ourselves a better chance of not bumping into each other as much. Now, they might still have issues here. Let's say somebody's coming back through to wait point two. If there's two trucks there, they'll, they should work it out, but, but we'll give it a go. I would never... I know you wouldn't, Ed. Happy Star Wars Day, by the way. Yeah, may the fourth be with you. Scott's on a, Scott's on a Star Wars marathon. Good for you, mate. I'm still working my way through uh, the Book of Boba Fett, which is great. Loving that. And uh, the new Obi-Wan series looks like it could have potential as well, couldn't it? Even Christian, uh, Alex C, when do you expect the next episode of Elk Mountain to come out? The same day as it comes out every week, Alex. Sunday. But it's going to be a big one this uh, weekend because it is the season finale. So there you go. Scott George is here. Well, apparently I, I'm episode 9 of Star Wars 10. <laughs> Tractor Wars. Evening, Mark. How are you doing? Hello, dazed. Right. So, yes, we've set up two new waypoints. Now, they should hopefully not clash as much as they did before. We've also, let me just uncouple this tractor actually, we'll go for a little spin back to the yard because we also filled that other, the two um, silos that we'd borrowed at Hillside Ranch. Well, guess what? They are very full already. There it is. We brimmed that. So uh, 600,000 litres. So we had to do uh, a little bit of uh, work in the week as well. So we'll go up and I'll show you what's what. Right, jump in. I'll come back and hook up to the trailer in a little minute. And I'll turn off my course now. Flyboy! Thank you very much, my friend, for that super chat. Keep up the great work and content. I will do my very best, my friend. Thank you for that. That is much appreciated. See, Scott. Solidarity, brother. The card rager. Really enjoy the Elk Mountains. Thank you, mate. I uh, I enjoy putting it together. Evening, Trey. How's it going? So, yes. We have installed four... So, uh, 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 so Vertex, these, these came out in the mod tub this week and they are very, very nice. So uh, fermenting silos, four of them. I don't know how much the volume is. This is the big one. It was three in the pack. Uh, I don't know who, I don't know how big the they are, but we'll find out. But I sort of throw four in there because when we finish that field we're in at the moment, we are going to go up to 14 here and we're going to do that one as well. So we've got... Um, We've got quite a bit on our hands tonight. I'm also going to bring the anhydrous kit down and do 27. Maybe we'll do that while there. Uh, if we can get things set up and running smoothly on 14, we'll uh, we'll be able to get the anhydrous going as well. So 
May the 4th be with you too, Joey. Thank you very much for that. Evening, Scooter, and you too, mate. There's things. Um, the other thing I'm running tonight as well, actually, I should say, and I should have put it in the chat. I will do that afterwards. Uh, Colin's Custom Shop have given me a version of Anhydrous that works... Uh, a version of Anhydrous, a version of um, Precision Farming that works with Anhydrous, and it is um, already available. And I'm actually just going to... Let me just... See if I can get it up, and I'll post it and pin, pin it in the chat. If I can. See if we can find it. No, nope, we can't find it there. Let me have a look in here. A link for it in Discord somewhere. So this is actually already out, but just hidden away. There we go. I copy that. I paste that. I have not done much with it in terms of testing. So uh, this will be an adventure as well. But I'll pin that message at the top there. Anybody who wants to try precision with a little bit of um, anhydrous built in be my guest um so thanks to the guys at collins custom for sending that over so i need to we've uncovered one field is all so we'll need to do a few more of those um if you buy the soil and what's it like soil information well it's not bad actually let's uh let's uncover them we'll just spend the money shall we i know i could scan them but uh we have money in the bank, so we shall use it. So yes, we'll see how those go. So let's get things up and running and keep an eye on what's what, shall we? I think I've only set up three. Uh, so again, if I unclick off this, I've set up courses. Again, start to plan it out a little bit better. So. Look, you can run right around the outside if you want in a ring, or you can peel off. So you've almost got like three sidings. Again, think about it like a train set, like train tracks. So I can peel off, unload in in uh, silo one, silo two, silo three. I do. I, although I do think I might trigger one of them. Um, so we'll have to keep an eye on that. You can actually trigger silo. Uh, you go across the unload point for silo 2 on your way to silo 3 so I wonder if that'll cause me an issue well Colin's customer working on those as well pop pop so maybe they'll not be too far away so let's get everything <laughs> let's try and get everything set up again I'm missing a trailer somewhere am I? no so these I had to bring back from the other from the other farm because they were just sitting because the because uh, the silo was full. So we will connect these up, and some of them might just go straight away. So I think this one here might straight away if I turn this on to combine. There we go. So we're at wait two, and we're going to go to. Let's go to silo one load three because I want to see if that crossover point with it is going to cause me any issues. Oh, so that's interesting. He didn't do his loop there. He's going to go right around the field, so we'll let him do that. I wonder if I've, I've got the point too close to uh, the turn. Uh, Days, any plans of going to FarmCon? I am seriously looking at it. Um, I'm not doing anything that weekend, so it's just a case of basically waiting to find out where it is. And uh, I, I definitely think I might uh, definitely think I might go. Quick hop over the water to uh, trailer weight two and unload. Oh, I don't need to unload, do I? In fact, I don't need it on that one. I just need that, don't I? Um, yeah, no, definitely. 
um, thinking I might go and do that. And these tractors against this chopper will be number one. Oh, nice days. We should uh, we should link up and work out how we can make it work, mate. Um, okay, we will be here. Tract away one. And we're going to unload a silo, not storage silo, silo three. I'm just going to jump over to that tractor again. Just see where he goes to make sure that we don't have an issue with that unload point. I'm intrigued to know where he's gonna where he's gonna go now. Got numerous options available to him. Okay, he's taking route one, that's good. So I see trailer weight two is actually past the turn point. That's a mistake again. We'll fix. It is Scott, isn't it? It is really, really good. Solid. My money's on Germany Day, somewhere in Germany. They've done it at, um, done it at some of the big agricultural places before, haven't they? So, uh, I don't know, Fent? The Fent factory, that would be good, wouldn't it? <clears throat> hey Derek, no, I am. I've just been incredibly busy the last, uh, the last few weeks, so uh, it's just kind of fallen by the wayside a little bit. So um, I need to, I do need to sort it out and get started again. Actually thinking I might move it to Thursdays. I don't know what anybody else thinks. Because actually on a Monday, it's a prime vid creation night. Ah, look, my fence is too, uh, my fence is too close. So there we go. See the things you do when you don't have a vehicle on it. Just get rid of that. Till he's around the corner, shall we? Put that there to stop the... Uh... There you go. Well, that worked. He went to... Uh... He went to where he was supposed to. Took a little bit of a, a detour, but that's good. Okay, so let's fire this up, shall we? Fire him up as well, trailer weight two. He's on course play. He should just be able to go then, he says confidently. Gonna dump on the ground, right? Let's just wait and see what happens there. I'm not gonna start up here. Yeah, come on, Loki. Gotta do it, man. Tell her it's business. Tell her it's a work trip. Well, it technically is a work trip, isn't it? Evening, Jeremy. How are you doing? Nice to see you. Oh, thank you, Scott. Yeah, I should probably talk about that, but no. Kermit uh, emailed me last night. Um, well, I actually jumped onto Discord after, and uh, invited me to uh, go onto the Farm Sim uh, uh, Community Spotlight next Tuesday. So next Tuesday, seven PM UK time, which I think is two PM Central Time US. I'd have with daylight saving and everything at the moment. I've totally lost my totally lost my uh, hours I got quite good at it but now I'm off oh no we're good we are good see what happens here yeah you can, you can but Argsy's already said that it'll bug me on the on the live on the live stream so he's going to rock up here
So this was the problem, wasn't it, the other day, is we need that other chopper in front of this one. We don't have the issues that we had in terms of, so let's just stop that. Jeremy, did your first ever harvest hands-free today with auto-driving course, but it was satisfying. Isn't it, Jeremy? It is one of those things. When you get it right, you're like, that was brilliant. Right, let's just, let's, I'm trying to set myself up for success here. What I might do is run that other chopper. Get these out of the way. Let them run in the order they were supposed to. I think one passed the other one in the end, didn't they? Actually might move him out of the way as well. Right. Hey Mills, how are you sir? Nice to see you. Galen, poor Sandy. You don't know, Sandy could be totally fine. He could just be living the life of Riley. She could have just gone on holiday and not told anybody. You never know, do you? Oh, he's off. He's decided he doesn't want to hang about. Typically, when we need him. He's coming back, though. So just doing a, just sorting himself out. Now I have to set up something to pick up the straw. Well, if you've saved your combine course, Jeremy, you should be um, you should be laughing. Just use that. Purdy, how are you doing? Nice to see you. I am drinking coffee out of my. I had to drink. I had to put coffee. I don't do coffee after lunch, but I had to tonight. I'm exhausted. It's been one of those weeks. Right there we go. Uh, it all gets a little bit clever here while he works out what he's going to do. It's a shame with a combine you have a little bit of storage, of course, don't you? So you can get away with whipping around. Even if I wish there was like just even a thousand litres tanks in these or something that could just hold on to you. Mills, <laughs> did you actually have to give me a super chat for that? That's brutal. Um, I will. I committed to doing it. And I will do it now. Whether or not it's on 22 or 19, uh, I don't know. I don't. I did say I'd do it on field nine, but if we can find another suitably big field, I'm happy to to work out. Um, but I won't be doing it on North Dakota or anything like that. It'll literally, take me three weeks. But yes, I, I, I do commit to that 100k. Field 3, yeah, it could be something on this map, actually. This is a pretty hefty map, isn't it? Right, there we go. This is what we wanted to happen. So he'll open up this row. And then he will open up this row. And they should... Should run in tandem a bit better now. We'll see. That's two days. I might need some. <clears throat> I might need some help. <laughs> some say that Jason Statham comes out when the farmsing guy drinks coffee after lunch. Like it, Doctor Fly. Like it. Right. So he's going to wait. I should probably see a tractor if I actually turn one on, which I can do now. Catching up with Combine, so he's running too. <laughs> Joseph McCleary, you're glad Easy, Easy Dev Controls is out now. Yes, that was, a, that was a nice surprise this week. And wow, it's good, isn't it? Lots of different stuff. Jonathan Kenwood, my day is going brilliant. Thank you very much. Hope yours is going well too. Thank you for the super chat. That is much appreciated. Oh, we're having a bit of a wobble here. This tractor doesn't run as smoothly as some of the others. Now, what I've done... That's trailer weight 2, isn't it? 
So this is my problem now. Look, I've got these trailer weight one. And I've already got two tractors and trailer weight one. So I'm going to move these out of the way. So we don't interfere with them too much. Until they're all set up and running. These are of course half full as well, which isn't helping. That's me, Jamie. Hard as nails. Oh, so there he goes. Interesting. He didn't loop in. Anyway, not complaining. Just going to uh, throw this on. So this would be trailer weight one, I believe. Yep. And we're going to unload in silo three. And we're going to go. See what happens. He's almost full, so he will not take too long. So that's two on trailer one, and so this will be a trailer two. Weight point and pick up so trailer two. Oh, so good this auto drive course, I've gotta say. Silo three unload, so we'll hit that as well. Yeah, keep he's straight in and on. Look at that, no messing. <coughs> Derek Hurst. I love that you always... Oh, look at look at my number plates, if you weren't here last week. Group strength doesn't work if you have lumberjackers. Yep, that's... Uh, both doing the same thing, so that's that's not a surprise, Jeremy. Uh, I think uh, power... To, somebody, somebody had both power tools and easy dev running the other day as well. And... Uh, was a little bit like well yeah they're not that's not a surprise that they don't work together because they do a lot of the same things you can imagine quite substantial clashes there couldn't you all right let's see if that other oh our boy over there stuck did you see that come on get your lsws up that hill Those classes didn't struggle, those cases didn't struggle last week, did they? Right. I have to get a bit fancy here. Let's see what the Fent does, shall we? Think he'll do it? He did all right. There we go. We're just going to... Often everything off a little bit. Anybody that says you can nail this first time every time is a liar. Right, he'll do another loop round now. We'll get, it's the usual. Sort a few things there. He's going to loop round, see? So there's that, there's that loop course I set up. And he should now send himself off. 60% of the time, I get it every time. <laughs> nice Anchorman reference there, mate. Like it. Yeah, it's a bench seat, Derek. That's what it, it doesn't matter what side you get, you just slide over. Daniel Dunn, how are you doing? Nice to see you. Clem Agricole, I apologise, but... Um, hello. I kind okay, of... No. You're asking a question. You're sorry about something for the 
brake? Is retard slow or brake? I can't remember. 99% of the time, FSG is learning. We're all learning, Mark. Never stop learning. That's what some health, self, self-help guru would tell you on TikTok. Every day's a school day. Never stop learning. Fixed it now, Joey, with the power of landscaping. And now, why is he not unloading? Has he missed the trigger? Because he's on a smaller trailer. So that's the problem. The problem has happened. That is the problem that's happened. So we clips that trigger on the way in. So let me just demo this for you. I saw this when I was setting it up and I went, I wonder if that will throw it. But look, if I reverse ever so slightly. It just clips that there. So what we'll do, we'll just tweak that course. He's in one now. We'll just tweak that course a little bit. But when he pulls in here, let's just be a little bit more brutal with our turn there. See if he can miss it. Let's try again, shall we? Is he going to trigger that? Oh, he's missed it now, of course. Yeah, well, we'll send him on his merry way and go back. Once this gets up and running, I think it's going to be quite good. He says, confidently. And this one will be silo 3 as well. Let's give that a whirl. If not, we might have to we might have to rethink things, but Yes, that's all it needed, that little just that little tweak, didn't it? We are good to go. <laughs> there you go, he's off around there, look at that, he's worked out he's that's the quickest route to head down there. That's clever. I'm, I'm impressed. Birdie, how you doing? Stud hand. Hello, hello, sir. Have you retired, Scott? Brilliant. That's amazing. What are you going to do? Play farm sim, religiously. I thought you were a young whippersnapper as well, Scott. I thought you were... Maybe you are. Maybe you've just made the millions that you needed to retire at the age of 30. Around there, Doctor Fly. Is anybody else having issues where lots of the control keys don't show in the list of commands, especially after the patch? Yes, it's a huge, uh, it's a huge issue at the moment for some people. They can't get their, uh, they can't get their keybinds to stick as well. Um, I think, which is very frustrating. There's another one done. Right, he's off again, straight away. Let's see what this dude's going to do now. Let's fire him up. Oh, he's waiting still. That's interesting. Because this guy's doing yo-yos backwards and forwards for some reason. What are you doing?
Ah, he's waiting. He's in wait mode because the other... The other forage harvester hasn't moved away. They're on their distance. David Bean, my day has been very good. Actually, tired though. Like I said before, I'm. Um, I've been kind of busy this week with real work, so I'm behind on vids and I'm behind. <laughs> I'm behind on sleep. So, but you know what? That's all good. I can cope with a little bit, a little, a little bit of lack of sleep. I'm no Mark. Uh, I'm no Mark Thor who gets by in about an hour of sleep a night. So. No, oh, it's all right, Peter. As soon as, as soon as you nail it, it, I mean, this is this is kind of being quite a challenge actually. Running two for two combines is a lot easier than two forage harvesters because you've got they've got capacity within the combines, which helps you out a little bit. But um, there we are. You're so behind it, your head. That's a very good way to look at it. Actually, that is a very good way to look at it. I like it. Okay, you just you just run straight into the. I mean, what's that? What's that? Go and reverse, will you? Just reverse. You can't make that stuff up, right? You can't compensate for your tractor driver just having a having a moment. The joys of life, exactly, Ed. He's throwing himself off now. Now we're going to have two... Uh, we're going to have two trailers. Who's going to get there first? The Fent. Look at that fence. like, leave this to me. I've got you. Yeah, I, I, think, I wonder if this John Deere is... Um, a little bit more temperamental than the fence. I mean, that fence just rocked up and went, stick it in here, mate. <clears throat> that that could also work, pop, pop. Yeah, the amount of hanging around you do, sometimes it's... Uh, it's better to just get on with it, right? I'm surprised he's going off at 66%, though. But I'm not going to complain. And the other fent is back. But oh, we fixed that hill as well. It's not going to get stuck now, so that's good. Oh, that's a different trailer, though, isn't it? Maybe we'll see the other one. Possibly, Ed. Possibly. I wonder if it is the jewels. Or I just think. Um, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. But see, if you look at. Um, I oh, see that fence full now, so he's going to disappear. So see how look at look at the compensation this John Deere is doing all the time. Look at the front wheels moving. He is zigzagging the whole time. Now we'll wait for the second fence to rock up. We're going to get a bit of a delay now. He's stirring left, right, left, right, left, right. That's the full fence that we need to. Uh, we need to wait for the other John Deere to come back. He's up there. Has he worked? Yep. Look at that. We fixed that little. Uh, fix that little issue there. He's doing a lap of the field for some sport. <laughs> Dice, you, play, you are playing with fire there. The green tractor, the the green tractor brand, Fent. Even it pleasant. How's it going, mate? Another mod release this week. Congratulations, buddy. You're fairly chucking them out at the moment. It's great. Oh, David's on the potatoes. Need to put number two waypoint in front of the loop. I thought I had. That's 
fine. We'll let it. We'll let it run. So, oh, oh, good luck. The second fent is. Well, this is going to be fun. We're going to have a three-way arrival. So, what's this John Deere going to do? Is he going to stop? They're all on look ahead eight meters, so they've got a little bit of distance between them. So, he should be smart enough to. Oof. It was a bit nerve-wracking, though, wasn't it? So he's back. Okay, we might we might have got ourselves into a rhythm just as we run out of field. But look, if I jump in here now, look at that fence. Solid, straight, no zigzag. So I actually think, oh, a little, re oh, there you go, a little re -correct correction there. All right, I take it back. I take it back. I was ready to uh, stick up for it then. Birdie, when am I going to make another episode of Surviving Wyoming? This week? As in every week it will be out on Sunday. So here's a question. Who's interested in if we did a... Like a... Post the season finale. Because it's the last one I'm going to do. I'm going to take a few weeks off. Get ahead of myself with the storyline. And then come back with season two. Um, so... I was thinking about maybe after the final episode that we do a, a like a Q&A or a, you know, like a, like just a sit and a chat for a bit, answer any question, don't know if anybody's interested. They used to do it with Game of Thrones and stuff, didn't they? You know, after every episode there would be like a Game of Thrones podcast type thing. So uh, and we could do a live watch party actually. Could do that. EastEnders live special man it would be impossible to do live it would be impossible to do live you'd get no special effects or uh, anything like that well, I'd be doing all of what I can do the voices if you want I need to uh, I need to work out a better solution for uh for season two for voices. I'd have to do it on Twitch. Oh, because he can run around in the background set up plot elephants. <laughs> Good old dogs. Ace catfishing. You need to do elk mountain every other day instead of just on the weekend. Ace, do you know it takes a, between four and five days to put an episode together? So that's going to be very hard to do. Database of pretty decent voice module. Cool. Mobius, how are you, sir? Nice to see you. Leiden, take care, mate. Thanks for hanging out. All the cast must be present to answer questions from their fans. <laughs> you can't ask April for a date, Derek. She's taken. She might send you a picture, though. Is it Sunday? <laughs> yeah. Uh, pop pop good question don't know <laughs> it stinks you're 60 and waiting sucks sorry buddy <laughs> I'm doing my best what I'm what I, what I, I don't want to I don't want to burn out as well you know I don't want to kind of I know we're all kind of used to now with Netflix and stuff you can do your you can do your binge watch of a whole series but uh, maybe I'll do that for season two We'll release them one a week. Maybe like channel members binge watch. May as well switch off the line. That's what I feel like, Mark. Everyone's like, ah, your other content sucks. Do Wyoming. I'd need to hire an editor. I'm too much of a control freak for that, unfortunately. But I kind of think it wouldn't wouldn't it be nice if you get them in chunks of chunks of ten. So you get 10 weeks, then you get another little break, and then 10 weeks. It just keeps the, 
keeps the momentum going, kind of keeps the excitement going a little bit as well. I don't know, I don't know what you guys think. I'm not asking you a lot. You just go, yeah, do five a week. <laughs> and that's that's actually the point, Andrew. There is a there is an element of it stresses it's like the first series that's properly stressed me out in terms of am I going? You know, the amount of times that I've been encoding or putting finishing touches to it like three hours before it's supposed to go live. Um, so yeah, it's from that perspective, it's uh, it would be nice to just take a couple of weeks and plan it properly. <laughs> Unto Kelly, um, could I do a video on how to set this kind of stuff up? I actually have quite a few on my on my page already, Hunter. Um, some of them are FS19 based, but um, I've done a few for 22 as well, and the principles are the principles are the same between 19 and 22. Um, course play is slightly different, but uh, but certainly auto drive element is uh, the making of Wyoming. I could do that as well, Trey. Let's uh, show you how I record it. It takes ages to record them as well. I'm doing a great job. You don't care what Jeb says. <laughs> uh, we made Jeb shut up shop and leave, didn't we? Somebody got upset with me this week that it's not a survival series anymore because I found $500,000. Right, am I getting another track to come see me? Or were we all just, everybody stopped? Everyone's like, nah, I'm not doing any more work today. You know, the moment you left, of course, by an auto drive would fall over, wouldn't it? Now, what's happening here? Why aren't you moving? Oh, yes, look. Planning path, there we go. Catching up with combine planning path. I think it's because they're a little bit further away now. We shall not mutter that name. Fusion. I'm not going to give him any airtime. Rogue Gamer, how you doing? Nice to see you. Hope you're doing well. Right, come on. Why aren't you going? You've been planning the path for ages now. Son of Rag. Thank you very much, mate. I appreciate that a lot. Maybe Jesus FS22 came a lot better with easy dev. It just it is just a it's a really convenient set of tools, and the new stuff in it's really good as well. I love that teleport option. Um, when you when you click on the map and just you can pick anywhere on the map to teleport to, that's brilliant. Dash, how are you doing, mate? Nice to see you. Ace catfishing, good thing you did not get the ten million over by the key. Yeah, I know, I know that's there. It kind of breaks, <laughs> breaks the, <laughs> breaks the series a little bit, doesn't it? I'm gonna turn this off and turn this on again. Let's see if it helps. Problem is the AI gets confused a lot, and then you get frustrated. I know exactly what you mean. Uh, does teleport still work? Yes, it does. Scooter, it's brilliant. And I haven't got easy dev on tonight, or I'll show you. If you're in a vehicle, um, it teleports you in the vehicles, so it's really good. It's part of easy development tools, David Bean, that came out this week. AI worker has completed their task, have they? I'll decide that. Let's move him a little bit closer to uh, the action, I think. See, that one is further away. And uh, he found him, so don't know why you wouldn't find this one. Waiting for call. So the first chopper has finished. You teleport you and the vehicle if you are in it. That's right, yeah. 
very handy, very handy little tool to have available. Right, let's get this unloaded. Tom from TME Farms, how's it going? Nice to have you here. Thank you, Jan. Yes, if you do hit the like button, that's uh, it's very helpful. Um, just helps other people find the channel. If you think the content's good and you think other people should find out about it. Smash the old like button. Oh, sounded like a Fortnite YouTuber then, didn't I? Smash that like button! Hugh, nice to see you! How is it in beautiful Wales today? One, two, three. And Christian's here as well. How are you doing? From Norway. Oof. Norway's about as beautiful as Wales. Right, I want to just check while we're here. We've been dumping everything in this one, haven't we? How full are we? We're at 300,000, so if we know we've got 300,000 in there, we'll see just how much we've got left. Uh, productions. So. There we go, large fermenting one, two... Three. Okay, so what's that? Three hundred and fifty. What do we say? Five. No. I reckon. What's that? One point two million, maybe. Capacity in the end. That's big. That is big. We'll um, keep tabs on that. But that has got the potential to be good. Anybody have any bets on the announcements for FarmCon? You already mean the second... I think you're bang on. I mean... It's out on... What was it? Out on Steam? FarmCon is... No, I think it's too late, actually. End of June. I think it'll be... I think it'll be done by then, won't it? Right. We are going to go down to three trailers and one chopper for this big field, I think. Cheers, Fusion. I'll catch you in a bit. Okay. Preview of the new map, maybe? The end of year map? I have not yet dazed, no. But I will, uh, I will certainly go check it out after we're done here. But this is our big field here. And I'm going to do a couple of weight points I think so I'm going to turn edit on so we'll peel off here I'm not going to do that we're going to hit the record button not the go button there we go so let's just join that up to there. We'll do a nice long stint along here so we can fit three trailers in a row down here. There we go. And we'll call this. Uh, what's this field? What field is this? It is field. 20. It's field 14. Field 14 trailer weight. So we'll okay that. Now all I've got to do is put a loop in. So we'll just go past that telegraph pole there, which could cause us all manner of.
go and we will connect that to that we'll move that out slightly to there so we know it's a different field 14 trailer weight stop recording we'll just switch it to there we'll do that and we'll send him back we'll work out a route back Farmer 2021, it's not bad. If you follow, if you get the basics right, then you, it's it's not too bad at all. Um, I actually did a an auto drives basics tutorial, which teaches you all the fundamentals, which is worth looking at. So, Saran, how you doing? <laughs> you glued to the. I I have been watching it with much hilarity. Amber does not have good lawyers. In any way, shape, or form. <laughs> right. So there he goes. Another full trailer. Or semi full trailer now. What's going to happen? So we're going to drop that forage wagon. That will run the other. We'll run the other thing. So I think I'll take him now. Let's drop him out of here. Field 14. Failure weight. Let's send him there. Don't need all of these trailers here now, do we? And we'll go and get the other forage harvester. Ah, Mr. Args! Here he is. Fuel camp. How's it going, mate? Are they all behaving? Ah, John's here too. How you doing? Testimony is quite the point. I saw she was just going on stand just an hour or so before we started here, so yeah. It's going to be the best acting job of her career. The edge. Oggs is the edge. Look at that flickering back of that trailer. Where did that other track to go? Sent him off in a loop and he's disappeared. Davis, how are you doing? Nice to see you. I am grand, thank you very much. Let me just go and find... Here he is, where's he going? Right, he's going back to unload. He's here. Right, you. Field 14 trail away. Oh, actually, it is a good map, isn't it? And yeah, the, the big fields are... They're a challenge, but they're still good fun, aren't they? Keep the Annenberger running. Oh, he's not going to go now, is he? Is that? I'm trying to work out. Is that? Wait two here. Yeah. Oh, he's all going to go on that trailer as well. So this dude over here, he can head off as well, can't he? Let's send him over to Field 14 trailer weight as well, and then we can very, very much get started over there. Yeah, no, what do you prefer, FSG, Autodrive and Course Play, or Argsy? Uh, <laughs> the chat's better with Args. Only just, but it is better.
All right, this is, this is going to be interesting. You know, the first loop of a field is always the challenging one, isn't it? Because you've got the headland running and all of that jazz. So, actually, I'm not going to. I'm going to be. I'm not going to start on a corner. It's going to just ask for trouble, isn't it? Let's unfold this. Need some armica cream. <laughs> but how do you know I'm wearing? I'm not wearing it already, Saran. Did I read that right? Unfold pipe first. There's a whole scene in his last... Yeah, just like a clean tractor, that boy. An unhealthy obsession with clean tractors. Right. Let us let us get sorted, um, which means ditching, clearing the current course, and then we will go to here. We will create a job. We will go to course play field work. No. Why are you going to that one? Try again. Create course. No, I don't want you there. Yeah, that's the one I wanted. Need a little bit of helping hand there. Open generator. Let's go with six headlands. Because that'll open up a little bit for us. Clean track to guilty conscience. Surely you have to keep an eye on Argsy more than course player auto drive. Well, uh, Cranky did remind me that I'd managed to leave in the little the little gag from the last episode. I'd forgotten to take it out, so I put it in twice, which was a bit mean. Right, so we are going to be now field 14, trailer weight. Now they are on standard go courses as well, so we'll just notch them up to... Combine courses again. There we go. Trailer weight. Styler one load three. Yes. One. I need to remember to save that course as well, don't I? Look at this. It's like a convoy. Field 14, trailer weight. Stylo three. Okay. Set that one right. Somehow. Oh, look. It could, that could be Arx. Oh, rail have taken city to have they? Ooh. Interesting. Liverpool played well last night. 14 trailer weight, silo 3 on load. Okay, they are all looking good. So, I'll just run back to the harvester and we will hit the go button. Let's see how quickly he's going to have to follow. This is going to be interesting because we've got two truck tra tra tractors down the side here. It's going to hopefully follow behind him first one. That's what I'd like him to do. And less of an issue on this side, but um, in the tree line down there, I don't think there's going to be enough space. Oh, wait a minute. Let's get it right, shall we? Went on nearest... Schoolboy error to go nearest rather than first on the start of the course. So we'll just nip past here. We should go again now. We just got caught in the... Uh... Right, what are you going to do now? Come on, Fent, what's your plan? How long is he going to wheel spin for? 
literally this will only happen in this first pass because then it'll run parallel to the to the harvester in the next one. Come on, please work it out. Don't sit and wheel spin. You're better than that. Right, and what we'll do, we'll reverse an up. There you go. Show them how to do it, and then... Uh, on his merry way. Of course he's filling it from the other trailers, typical. Right, let's go. There we are. Still think he's going to get tangled in the trees. We'll see. We will see. Very possible we might have to... Uh, I have not been reading the chat. <laughs> totally arcs after a round of mess. Uh, offset Offender, what's the mod where you can sell firewood? There isn't... Uh, oh, is there? There's not firewood. There's not the firewood mod that was in FS19, which was brilliant. It was a Loki mod as well, wasn't it? Farmer King George, you are new. Just subscribe. Welcome, sir. Excellent excellent name as well, King George oh, just creep around that corner there let's see what our clearance is like on this well, there might be enough space actually, this is where where DJ comes into his own for creating a decent map with enough breathing space around it for a tractor to run I'm surprised the other tractor's not been triggered yet. Oh no, he's too early, he's only 56% full. Yeah, the log chipping mod only 90 but I'm sure it's coming I am sure it's coming royal modding was it it was it was just a good mod Loki so I assumed it was yours right 85% I want to see another tractor come in this way get on. Check our pre-call level. Unload fill level. I am in the wrong vehicle. That is why I can't work out the pre-call level. It will be in this one. Go to the cog and go to here, pre-call level 60% and nothing came at 60% so... Why is he not coming? Planning path, let's see if he does this or we need to run a loop around the edge of this field again. I'm going into silo, Scott. That might be it. I think we were having issues last game, wasn't I, Ed? Last, uh, last episode. Uh, yes. That makes sense, doesn't it? Ding, ding. Yes, I knew he wouldn't be able to create a cat path, so well, let's do a loop around the field again here. Um. Hit it mode. It's going to be a tight squeeze around the edge of the field here, isn't it? Just do a loop. Could I do a loop here? What do you think? Put some return loops in. Or am I, or am I over engineering it? Even in barnacles, how are you doing? Um, you know what? I'll just run it around. 
We'll just have a loop like we did in the other fields so they can get out. Oh, can I sneak down there? Is there any space? Nope. Not happening, is it? A long way around the field, though. I'll give it a go, though. Ooh, little judder there, didn't it? Do I watch just a few acres farm? I do not. I do not. Is it worth checking out? I might have to have a look at that. There we go. We're only doing two sides anyway, so... Now we've got to close off that other one. I'm trying to work out why he's not moved. Not you. You. Oh, I didn't turn it on. Genius. But actually, that's... That's okay, because... I need to create that, that loop, don't I? But I'm going to drive into crop here. Nobody, nobody judge me. the other trailer down the hill. That's good. So I'll just link this back up. I might be alright. I'm interested to know why I'm not picking why it's not picking up on this on these you know I've done this on field nine on Flint Hills in nineteen and it would drive right across the field without any issues but it seems to be on bigger fields it's not finding them. Has anybody else had that found that issue? Yes, yeah, so all lightsabers were released today. Good fun. Right. Bosh. Oh, don't go back. Right, we'll run this back and we'll let the loop run. I wonder if the fence will come now. Take care, Phil. Enjoy London. I was supposed to be going to London on Monday. Got out of it. No, no, no. Get on the right side of the road. Yes, yeah, it's because it's, it's I switched courses. I think. So we'll just turn it back on now. Catch up with the combine. There we go. See what he's going to do. Oh, he's doing his own thing. Look at that. He's working his own course out. Fair play to him. But tell you, I think these fence are better. Tell you, I think these fence are better. Thank you, Scott. Yes, indeed. Looking forward to hanging out with Kermit for a bit on Tuesday next week. So, uh, if you can make it, that would be awesome. Eric's, <laughs> Eric's stoking days to fire now. Oh, nice, Scott. Nice, Scott. Wouldn't find Args. Oh, 
I thought he was, honestly, I thought he was going to do a lap of the field then. But no, he just thought he'd wanted to uh, give it beans until uh, until he was just ready. Now, is he going to hit this fence as well? Yep. Go on, just ride, ride the edge of the fence, look at that. Might have another issue on this. Oh, maybe it's a little bit wider here. He bossed that, didn't he? He's like, nope, coming through. Derek, that is um, the custom modding one. It's going to help him around this corner. So this is the one that the custom modding released the other day, and it is fab. With tons of options on it. Oh, don't like how the choppers still spit out chaff. I don't think it's actually spitting out any... I don't think you're losing any product at that point. I think it's... Uh, I don't want to go back to field 14 white here. Let's see if he... Drive to destination. No, I don't want you to drive to destination. I want you to continue to fill up. Fine, I'll let you do that. See if the other one. Oh look, Sir John Deere's on his way now. That's good. I know we should have filled him up properly, but uh, I think we're switching it off and on again. It has got triple narrow wheels. It's fantastic. No logo. Not yet, Mark. Actually, no. I need to uh, need to get my finger out and logo up some tractors. Yeah, this Fent is the business, and it comes in three different flavours as well, which is quite nice. So let's just go I'll show you, because it's a good one. I love how Custom put their logo in the top corner as well, so you know which one is theirs. Very good. So um, you've got Challenger, Black Beauty, and Standard, and Standard one. Look at the amount of tyre options. So 36-inch spaced Narrows, 22-inch spaced Jewels, which is really nice as well. Triples at the back, 36 inches. Twins, 36. And then you've got various. I think that's just, yeah, jewels all round. Just jewels at the back. Very skinnies. And then look at that. Look at that. We had to make that ourselves in 19, didn't we? But uh, 22, we get it. We get it legit. The only thing that's missing is um, always you always have front weights. I'm surprised they didn't put a just a weights on the on the front option. Numbers on them as well, which is nice. Always nice to see. You want to you want to run twenty three of these on your farm? You could if you wanted. Oh, I see. He's looped round and he's. He's decided he's not full, so he's going to keep going. What's the John Deere doing now? Not you. Of course, you've got stuck as well, haven't you? Right, we'll unpack this. We will unpack this. Right, he's off now too. We might have a problem. We're doing for time and having so much fun. Oh, he's just gunning it across the field now. He's like, to the rescue. Yeah, we'll just leave him there, shall we? It's not pretty, but it might be effective. Like I said, it's just that first, just first headland's always a pain. Bucket McPretty. I know it's once you get used to its foibles you, you can kind of expect this kind of behavior from it on headlands unless you've got huge expanses of space around the outside of your field it can it can do this you only need a little bit of a rogue fence or a tree around the border and it can really make a mess of things but once it's uh, once it's worked it out it tends to be pretty slick I think you know 
even from there we might have a little bit of an issue running along that head headland border there but I don't think it'll be too big an issue and then we are then we are good to go and if this runs we might actually go and get that anhydrous machine out of the other vehicle out of the other field and actually do something else rather than two hours solid of uh, two hours solid of uh, forage I'm going to save this because I've just realised I haven't saved it yet. Thank you, Purdy. That is very kind of you to say. Um, what am I doing? I am creating a new folder. Field 14. Field 14. Save course. Activate. Glass. Class forage, that'll do. Single just means I can turn it off and come back and I'll have to recreate a course. Of course, we had an option. To, uh, who said before? Is he still here? Somebody said before, um, stay within the boundaries of the field, which is which is actually not a bad call, actually. You could do that. Um, Which one is restrict unloader to field? I could have said yes, then he would stay inside the field. I'm not going to do it now because, in fact, I might do it now. So, what he'll do now, watch him drop behind now because he's out of the field. Should fall in behind the combine and not go on the grass at the side. It's the problem with Orchard, there's so many different options now that you kind of forget. Oh yeah, you can do that, can't you? There you go. That would have solved all our problems around that bottom end by that white fence. You look at one from... I saw the Morello one. Was it pink? Because did you make it a silly colour as well? So she could do a jump on the map. Good old Morella. She's just had her baby, hasn't she? should definitely have her hands full. There's today's takeaway. There you go, Derek. I'm useful for, I'm useful for something. Farmer Ed, thank you very much, mate. That is very kind of you. You're a gent. That is with an auto drive dazed, yeah. He'll work himself out in a minute. There should be. There isn't, so I don't know why. We don't have another tractor coming. I shall there. Uh... Oh, just going to top him up a bit more. Look at that. He's like, you're not full. I think it's because we've got... Uh... Unload. I think 85% is cool. Come on, other fent. There he goes. It is working. He's not driving on a field at all, now. Look at that. That's clever. Straight to Silo 3. John Deere have a... See, stud hand. Were you here before? We, I was saying exactly the same. I don't think they're as good. Stop sign. Is it coming down? No. There you go, Ed. Another great advert for Farm Ed's auto drive course. If you do exclamation auto drive, you can you too can own it. Very good. And there you go, that fent got there quick, didn't he? He's gone rouge. 
happening here? Why are we having a little pause for thought there? Is it running too close to him because of the slight slope? Off signs on this map are just suggestions. Decoration. Road furniture, let's call it. CJ, how's it going, man? I've got your precision farming running here. So it's interesting now we've told him. No, this is a different tractor, that's why. So if I do this. Yes. Apply. Forget it's not a global setting, so you've got to do it for each tractor. Stay in the field has to be in the uh, the tractor, Derek. So each tractor that you want, you want to stay inside the boundaries of the field. You've got to tell it individually. And it is on menu number one, so the one with the little tractor and the cog. Restrict on loader field. Automatic pairing, pocket job finish. There you go. Press apply if you want to keep it as well. Oh, John Diaz, look, we've actually triggered it now. He's starting to do his second call. We're nearly there, guys. We've nearly done it. Lots asking him for Elk Mountain, Ed. Oh, well, Ed, Ed mentioned the other week, actually. Would that be a one that would be interested? That'd be an undertaking, that one, mate. Not many straight roads on that one. You couldn't just set it to run. Right, am I feeling brave enough? to leave this alone and get on with something else. Let's pop that. Restrict on loaded fields. Okay, so he's already set that way as well. So all three of them are set to go. He's running well. Why is he stopped and reversed? Does a little reset every now and again. No apparent reason. I have to say, this has been a lot more successful than last week's. <laughs> that was uh, painful last week. But again, it was it was down to course setup. Look, he's still topping him up. So actually, do you know what we could do here that will help that? We can bump that up to... Um. No, it's in the tractor, isn't it? In the tractor. Where is it? Fill level. Or maybe it was in there. Oh, well, this is where it goes. Pear shaped. And you've got too many, uh... Oh no, he's worked it though. Where's he gonna sit behind him? Yeah, the problem is they both want to use the same, uh, can use the same weight, weight point. So he's almost gonna have to wait until he goes. No real solution around that, is there? Because you can't set a... You can't set a separate course, because you've only got two options. You know what would be nice, actually, wouldn't it? An auto-drive would be if you had a... So for your, for your combine, it's you've got a wait point, and you've got a return point, if you know what I mean. So you could go from one to the other. He's off. He's going to take a a wild route somewhere. What is going on up there? I 
planning a path. Look how close he is and he can't work out a path. I tell you, these John Deers, man. DJ's only just caught up with surviving Wyoming. Oh, serious. Thank you, man. Thank you. Tempted like the the curse of the uh Come on. Come on, John Deere, you can do it. MOBA, how's it going? City are losing now, are they? Oh, I was kinda of hoping for a Man City Liverpool final, but Liverpool Rail's a good game too, isn't it? Right, come on, John Deere. Do your thing. Waiting for call. You know what we'll do? We'll jump back. Oh, there we go. That's freed him up. You could set up auto drive to return after your wait point. How do you mean MOBA? If I've got a truck if I've got a trailer waiting at the wait point for the for the harvester, the other one can't get to that point to then do you know what I mean? I have no idea what that John Deere's doing. Telling me that the fence are better than John Deere's. He's just sitting in the field there. These trailers are better too. So the Fent and the Roland trailer is better than that Annaberger and the and the John Deere. He'll he'll drop into uh, lane two now. He'll be able to run parallel with him. You get an icon where you can choose where the tractor returns after field work. Okay, let's have a look at that. Advanced is on. Oh, he thunk. moments where I can't see it for looking. You know what that does. You turn card assignment mode right. So if you enable advanced setting in the G right you get an icon where you can choose where the track controls have to field it. Why can't I see advanced guys? We turned it on last week. Why can't I see it? Wood fruit, parking field, cycle pickup, automatic shield. Unload position, wait time. Peter Rasser, I get a question if you don't mind. Uh, I like driving the harvester, but it's quite a pain to change vehicles every time the harvester is full. Is there a, an easy... How do you mean, when the, when the combine is full of grain, you have to switch to a tractor to... Uh, to, to unload the combine and drive it away? You could, you could either do what we're doing here and run, and run auto drive for your trailers to, and then they will follow alongside. So I'm not, I'm not driving anything now. Look, nothing driving. Both of this is automatic. But you can set up 
auto drive for your trailer pickup or you can set the combine to run on course play in your field and you can drive the trailer it's whichever one you prefer but uh, yeah both of them and then you don't have to switch between vehicles at all you can just do the one job if you want um, slightly easier with combines than it is with forage harvesters actually because obviously you've got capacity in them. Um, so oh cheat some people would say course play was cheating Peter you don't already oh, yeah so so absolutely auto drive auto drive grain grain cart course um, I've done a, I've done a few vids on that over the years definitely worth checking out even the auto drive basics course that I've done for 22 is worth probably checking I swear that not that this is getting sold wait for cool I'm going to sell a trailer too. Thank you, Black Book. How are you, mate? Yeah, it was a nice surprise last night when I got the invite, so... Pleased with that. They're running on the field, so even though I've got a void crop on, they're running on the field. I actually think I'm going to keep an eye on this. If he can get to unload and be back by the time the other tra the trailer's full, we might just drop down to two. Yeah, it's pretty straightforward. So actually, this setting here in Auto Drive, Peter, if you set up your course to take your grain to where you want to unload it, I'm going to get out of the way here because I do believe there's a, an automated guy making his way down. You switch it to Combine mode here. Um, make sure that this setting is set in your Combine um, and make sure your unload point wherever it is. So as long as that on your tractor and that on your... On your uh, on your forage harvester are the same so look if I jump into the forage harvester here for a second you don't need to turn on you don't need to turn on auto drive at all you've just got to make sure that weight point field 14 weight is the same as whatever the tractor's got in it and it should uh, it should run right MOBA one two three four five. field exit Behind start, closest point, default. Closest point. That's what we. That's what we did last week, actually. Moba. Genius. Got about that. See again. You forget about all these settings. So it should just find the nearest point and head back now, shouldn't it? it shouldn't go back to the waypoint. Well, do you know what we'll do? We shall watch this guy and see what happens. And actually, means we can tell. I don't think that other trailer is going to be... Oh, we're on 43%. I can't see that other fent being back in time. Can you? No worries, CJs. Oof. Good for you, man. Will be worth it when it's done. You learned that from the great FSG... <laughs> He sounds great. We should follow him. He seems to know more than I do. I'm still finding my... Find, honestly, genuinely finding my feet a bit with the... Uh, I haven't used it for so long. I used it, like, religiously in 19. And I haven't really used it in anger till very recently, so... Um, I was just waiting for it all. The, the, the dev, specifically the dev of uh, Courseplay, to settle down. And kind of all, I don't tend to use auto drive without Courseplay. My two go kind of hand in hand, so it's taken me a bit of time to get my head around it again. There we go. What do we think? 76%. It fills up really quick, doesn't it? I think three trailers is optimal, isn't it? No doing for time. Half an hour left. Eighty four, he's not even he's not even in sight yet, is he?
We will switch though to. Where is he? Should we... He's a... He'll be in a hedge somewhere, won't he? He won't be. There he is. Let's just make sure his setting is right too. Field exit. Closest point. Yes, CJs. Take it easy, man. Thanks for hanging out. I appreciate it. Good luck with the refit. I'm too close to the right. I'm going to dump this. These are getting sold. I might not sell the tractor, actually. The trailer's going. We'll get another one of those... Uh... I was going to say I'm going to buy another fence, but it kind of cripples me financially if I do that. Might just get the trailer. Let's dump this. Let's see how we're doing uh, fill-wise as well. Right, so let's try this John Deere again with a different trailer. I wonder if I'm making excuses up now that the trailer's a problem. I don't think the trailer's a problem. We all know where the where the problem lies, don't we? But we'll make it make do it now. I've just gotta remember where my where my shop point is. Let me just pop it here. Just in case. It's somewhere else on the map, but I'd have to go and get it. Uh big trailer, there it is. The Roland. Fifty one thousand cap. That was actually cheaper new than the other one was second hand. I'm gonna give the John Deere a second chance. See if he'll let me down. This is custom moddings as well, so the fence are working, the John Deere should just do exactly the same. What am I going to do with all that chaff? If you look just behind you there, there is a BGA. I am going to sell bucket loads to the BGA, make tons of money. Obviously got some cows to feed too, but between the two of them. So, there we go, let's send him on his merry way. Let's change him to field exit, closest point, apply that. Off your pot, let's see how much is in here. Six hundred and thirty-three thousand liters. What does that look like in in volume? Because at some point we might have to switch over to a different to a different. Yeah, we've not even. This must be a one point. What do you reckon? One point five mil silo. Interesting. Oh, rail beat. Ooh. Okay, that makes that sets us up for a good final. To be honest, I actually, I'm okay with that. I don't like it when one country dominates. So actually having, having a Spanish team and an English team is good. I'm okay with that. I'm like, where are my tractors? So he's just loading up. He's unloaded. Okay. All right. This one's going to let me down. Watch him. James, how are you, mate? Nice to see you. So now we can actually go and get our anhydrous from here. What I want to do is just maybe show you how CJ's, now he's disappeared, he's probably waiting for me to show this, I should have done it while he was still here to show you how uh, the anhydrous works with uh, precision 25 miles an hour, it's a slow one this one 
Back after moving calves. Nice. Oh, well, nice to have you here, James. Appreciate you dropping in. Very kind of you. Right, let's... So there you go. What have we been doing? What, an hour and 40 minutes. And I think we've just about... Man I suppose if we'd started on that field, we would have got it sorted a bit quicker, but... You still need to babysit this stuff. Like, proper farm management stuff, right? Ken Gamer, how you doing? Nice to see you. So there you go. He's in. John Deere should be moving relatively soon. Please don't let me down, John Deere. He's been shown up by the fence big time today. We've still got 8,000 litres of anhydrous in. Maybe worth topping that up at some point. Although we don't have any spare. We haven't got an anhydrous tanker, but I think it might be empty. Oh, John Deere's moving. Not sure where he's moving to, but he's moving. That corner, that tight corner's a bit of a pain, isn't it? Get a bit stuck there, calculator. But look, the fence worked it out quicker than John Deere got properly stuck there, didn't it? Nathan, how are you, mate? Doesn't matter that you're late. You're here. It's all that matters. All we need now are some good toolbars. That's right, Mark. Hopefully these. So, um, uh, Colin's Custom Shop, who've released the anhydrous precision, are working on these as well. So this was an early edit. I think he's done a little bit more work to it since then, so let me uh, let me show you what we've got with these. What would be a cost-friendly gaming PC for FS22? Uh, Wesson, do a bit of shopping around, to be honest, mate. I mean, it all depends on your budget. Um, but you should be able to get. I would I would recommend at the moment, still with the with the GPU market, is get a, get a, a nice pre-built, but shop around. Don't don't do a Walmart special or anything like that. Actually, do do your research, work out what you want. But again, it is completely predicated on your budget. And my recommendation would be if you've if you've no plans to move about anywhere, go for a desktop over a go for a desktop over a laptop. Sixteen sixty Ti, yep. Yeah. Need the John Deere DB sixty ninety one twenty. We do, we do indeed. Or the uh, we've seen Customs Case Early Risers. They've got a new big one in that, haven't they? Which looks superb. Right, it's about to run anti-clockwise then in the field, which is so. So one of the challenges we've got at the moment with this is it doesn't with anhydrous show up on the minimap like normal fertilizer does so again like I said it's work in progress at the moment so we'll fire it up I'll work out if I've switched it on now there we go that's what I wanted There we go. So it doesn't show up on the minimap, but if I, if make sure I've done it right, and we're ticking down on yeah, we're ticking down on our literage. If I go to, it's still counting down. I'm going to turn it off while I'm sitting in one place. If I go to here, and I go down here, and we switch to nitrogen. There you go. It counts anhydrous. Now, I do know Scooter, if he's still here, um, is working on a version as well. He's actually got anhydrous in here as a, as a as an item, a line item. And what he's trying to do is add the, the funding, the finances to it as well. So it uh, might take a little bit longer. Oh, 
Mark Taylor, how are you doing, mate? Okay, I agree. Prices are dropping. Availability is still a challenge. I don't know. I don't know what it's like for you guys over US side, but oh damn it, I forgot to turn it back on. Uh, but in the UK, they're still quite hard to get hold of, even though the like you say, the prices are definitely a lot more sensible than they were 12 months ago. Scooter is the man, indeed. Evening, John. How's it going? Glad to hear it, Mark. Glad to hear it, mate. Is that pulling to the side slightly? Don't think so. The, the actual the uh... no. There we go. It's wibbling a bit, wibbling, wobbling a bit. Rig, it's a mixture of wriggling and wobbling. Mark, do you know what I? Do you know I spent about an hour on it the other day, and I'm still um, chasing my tail a bit. So I apologise. Um, so I will get my finger out in the next little while and I will try and sort that for you, mate. RTX 3080, about £1,000 in the UK. Yeah, that's higher than RRP that they recommended when they came out originally, isn't it? I was very lucky and got my 3070 when I was... When you just walk past the shop and you're like... That's a founder's edition in the window there. And it's RRP. Mr. Sim, it's been given to me to test by uh, Colin's Custom Shop. So it's a it's a rework of the FS19 one. He's still looking for permission to uh, officially release it, and he's still working on it, so... Um, but it's, it's working... It's working quite well. He's trying to. He would like to get a white, um, a white dust on it rather than the brown, to make it a little bit more anhydrousy. But uh, I'm sure he'll work that out. Thirty seventy has been brilliant for me. Actually, really, really like it. And the nice thing is, actually, I'm seriously considering for the first time ever is running... Um, there's a little... Uh, will I give you a little sneak peek as to something that's coming in the next month that is nothing to do with Farm Sim, but... Can you see that behind me? That white bit behind... There you go. You're going to get your first ever sponsored post com uh, vid coming soon. So, uh, it's, it's, I've basically been given a desk by a company as long as I talk about it in a vid. So, um, I'm going to I'm seriously considering because I've still got my old RTX 2080 in my uh, in a box under the table here because I know it's worth gold dust and I'm I don't want to flog it because it's always nice to have a backup card if any case anything goes wrong. But I'm actually thinking about building a an editing PC now and a gaming PC because the sim racing rig sitting there I've basically got too many screens because I want two screens for editing one for farm sim which I multi-use at the moment um, but then the racing rig's got a big ultra wide on it as well so um, it would be better to run so I can get a, I'm looking at e-buyer I don't know if anybody in the UK uses e-buyer um, but they do they're doing a, a, a Ryzen 9 uh, 9050 
with uh, uh, 32 gig of Corsair RAM, which is the same RAM I've got in my machine, uh, a 1,000 watt PSU, fully, uh, fully modular. So the only thing that's missing is... Oh, and a liquid cooler, one of those... Uh, uh, IQ Corsair IQ liquid coolers and um, all for I think a thousand pounds so if I all I need to drop into that is a is an SSD and my graphics card that exists and a, and a case so I might I might go for an editing PC I've got an Elgato capture card so I can run a I can run a, a cable from a gaming PC to the editing PC. Everything else is on LAN network, and all my storage sits on uh, on the NAS. So uh, could be could be the next step, the next phase of Studio FSG. We shall see. You've all got to watch more vids though, and don't skip the ads. And then I can buy it sooner. <laughs> What do we think's happening in the world of forage harvesting in the other field? I've not had any alerts pop up. So we're, we're either doing okay or it's all gone horribly wrong. I did, Mark. I did indeed. Do you know what it was? I had a, a knackered switch. So I had a little Netgear switch, just a five-port plug-and-play switch. No, no software, nothing like that. JD's blocked everything. <laughs> Wouldn't put it past him, Peter. Um, and that was that was that was killing it. That was sitting at a hundred um, half duplex and wouldn't wouldn't let me move. So a new switch, fourteen fourteen pounds, and uh, I'm running at uh, one gig full duplex. So it's flying. I'm editing's like brilliant. It's all gone wrong. I <laughs> blame Jim. Hey Valleys, how you doing mate? Nice to see you. Flickery River. Mark, I might put you in touch with the uh, uh, DJs then. And you can uh, see if you want to offer your services to him. Really with this, that's the only thing. And the, and the fact that I don't like the blue. We've had this discussion before. I think the blue is too gaudy. But uh, other than that, I think it's pretty much done. And noises, and there's no sound on it either. There's no nice whine when the uh, when the pumps start up and stuff. That's that's it's missing that. And connectors. So look, if you with with forwards tank on, it would be nice if that pipe connected when you connected the two together. But little things really. Fundamentally, it's working. It's working a treat. So. Doctor Fly, what a man! Thank you very much, buddy. Most kind. Plus ten to the FSG tutorial. Well, I would say maybe more trial and error tonight than the tutorial. But honestly, that is the way to get your head around auto drivers and and course players. To uh, you notice course play, we've just clicked and played, it's clicked and clicked and collected. It's just gone instantly. Auto drive is the one that takes a little bit more time. Oh, you're watching Bulls Gap Eye, Val. I tell you what, do you know what? The the numbers of viewers on Bulls Gap, um, based on Wyoming, has gone nuts. It's really jumped up again. I'm surprised. Like FS19 content still being uh, viewed in such big numbers by you guys, which is which is lovely. Yeah, thank you, Dr. Fly. That is uh, very generous of you. You are too kind. You are too kind. So here's my other challenge. I'm not sure I'll be able to make it. I'm not sure, based on numbers, it will happen. But um, what are we on? 47,500 subs? My birthday on the 23rd of May. Could we hit? I don't think we can. I'm, usually, I'm average about, what, 2,500 to 3,000 subs a month. Could we? 
could we hit 50k by my birthday? What do you reckon? Be nice if it did, wouldn't it? But I, I think I might be. I might fall just a little bit short. Cranky, thank you very much, mate. Much appreciate. This is going to hit a tree. Yeah. Let's see that. I'm going to have to do the old fashioned way of getting around a tree. Just fold it up. Cranky, very much. You are a gent, mate. I have to head down your way sometime. Just have a beer with you. Um, Mark, Bulls Gap is coming to 22. Yes, I know that for a fact. I don't know when or how far away it is, but um, yes, it is definitely coming. I'm down for that, Cranky. If you do a birthday stream... I will do a birthday stream. Definitely will do a birthday stream. It's my birthday on the Monday. Monday's the 23rd, I think, this year. So, uh, yeah, no, I'll do a birthday stream. Maybe it could be a Sunday night one. Because we'll be between seasons of uh, Elk Mountain. So I've got to, that's the other thing. I've got to find someone to fill my Sundays with. go right one more lap and then we can do up and downs on the gps but this is running nicely isn't it this is running all right let's have a look at what it looks like there you go we have got some good we've got some good night so there you go nitrogen ph five kilograms per hectare 180 I think we might be uh, we might be running quite rich on the nitrogen front. Hawkeye, how many more episodes of Elk Mountain? It is the season finale on Sunday, mate. Ten, pe ten per season. I've decided to go. I toyed with eight. Toyed with twelve. And then just the way the f the stories landed, it's worked out nicely at ten. So. Um, one to go. No, Nathan, it's the base game uh, far, uh, precision map at the moment, soil map. But I think uh, DJ is talking about doing a custom one. Friday is the 27th, Mark. Yes. Oh, is it, Ed? Well, there you go. We'll have to have a I killed Sandy. I didn't kill Sandy. I just found a phone. And who's to say Sandy's dead? Bulls cap for FS22 won't be the same without Jeepers Creepers. But, Jason Rowe, you clearly haven't been watching uh, Surviving Wyoming. Because Jeepers Creepers, thanks to Mr. Mark Thor, is already in FS22. Good for you, Valleys. I like it. Maybe Sandy killed Jeb and she's gone into hiding. Maybe Sandy's the perpetrator all along. And she's been spinning the story to her to her tune to cover her tracks. Maybe Daryl killed Sandy. Maybe Clint killed Sandy. Maybe April killed Sandy because she was having an affair with Daryl. So many. <laughs> the butler did it with the candlesticks. Neb. <laughs> Uh, 
Yeah, all all will well, not all. Lots will come become clear on uh, Sunday. Jeb and the sheriff have run off to you <laughs> Peter's been run that storyline since the word go. I should write it in just as a just as just as a gag. I'm away with work tomorrow as well, so I can't even record tomorrow night because I'm uh, I am not home, so which means Friday's going to be Friday's going to be the night. James, uh, probably gonna. It, it, do you know what? It depends on how quickly. I, I what I would really like to do the sec the next time because it's been it's been a real challenge to get the episodes done in a week. And you know, write the story, get everything done, get all the graphics sorted, source all the um, sound effects and things like that. So, uh, what I'd quite like to do is maybe get a whole series written, or at least the two thirds of a series written. Uh, maybe record three or four of them without the pressure of having to uh, have a deadline looming and that'll buy me a bit of a buffer so we'll, we'll see we'll see that's the plan anyway so we'll, we'll let it run for a couple of uh, well I, I'd like to think a, mo a month maximum how about that uh, yeah spend three days making fire and after effects yeah No parallel universe or time travel. No, there's no plans for that. It's uh, we're pretty more more basic than that. We're more basic than that. Think of it like it's going to be like the A team. You know when they used to rock up to a new town with a bad guy in every every episode, sort the town out, and then go away again. Well, it might not be every episode, but. I don't want it to get too repetitive either, but uh, I also want to grow the farm and make sure I do some farming in it as well. Although the stats are Argy, Argy said to me the other week, he said, I'd be interested to see if people are skipping the montages just to get on with the story. Um, so I went and looked at the stats and it runs at the, the, the engagement's really good on it. So like I would say 60% of people that watch it are watching it from end to end. But there's dips. And if you move, if you mouse over the dips, it's where the montages are. So, like, nobody's interested in the farming bit. I love rhombus. <laughs> what field am I? I think I'm on 27 valleys. Yeah. Down in the bottom right ish corner. Not right in the bottom right corner. Just on the right-hand side, actually. It's in the middle of the map. Have I got relatives in Dub? I don't, Peter, no. Worcestershire's the closest. I'd also like to tease it with a couple of trailers pre-season. Oh, always open to the ideas, Scooter. It might not always stay on Elk Mountain as well. We could move maps. That's, you know, when the time is right or the, or the, the right map comes out, there's no reason to say we couldn't move, move elsewhere as well. Uh, Mobocop, I'm kind of hoping they're just running. In fact, we're going to jump because it's, it is time to stop now because I am... Um, knackered and I've done two headlands which is perfect that sets me up for next time but it means we can just look at me I'm gonna alt tab back as well look at that timing the John Deere is here he's like what do you need I'm on it so he's running nicely which means he's running nicely which means somewhere in between the two he's full of now see we're talking 
it's running like a train. Oh, I don't. I didn't. I didn't wreck the truck. Somebody cut the brake lines. Somebody cut the brake lines. I was just an innocent. Maybe they were trying to kill Daryl, and they didn't know I was going to take. You just, so many unanswered questions. Right, let's see if these two run into each other. But the timing, after all this, they should be pretty good actually. Who seem to get lost? Yeah, they can. They can do if you if you're not careful. Oh, well, I'm glad they didn't meet on that corner. That could have been uh, a tight squeeze. Look at that! Another Ed, uh, an example of Farm Ed's immaculate course. Hawkeye, I don't know yet. Um, maximum of maybe a month. Um. Maybe I did it in my sleep. Craig, maybe I, I uh, sleepwalked and cut my own brake lines. Yeah, thanks, Scooter. No, I'm I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it. I don't I don't I don't know what the I don't know if I just talk or I play with Kermit. I don't know I was watching uh, um, I was watching the uh, FS clubs today just to get an idea for what happens. But then it varies. So Ghost in the Sim was a little picture of the FS club got a full screen. So who knows? We'll still wait and see. It'll leave me in the suspense for that long moment. Well, I'm going to try and close off the story and leave it kind of established enough for the second season of Hawkeye rather than leaving it on a really, really chunky cliffhanger because I kind of did that this week I might be dead maybe next episode will just be me in a hospital bed with a with a, a heart trace bleeping in the background I must have done a few trailer loads actually while we've been uh, doing that these are these are great silos Oh yeah, we're creeping up towards a mill. Look at this. It's going well, look. I'm still doing the headlands, wow. Could be the last headland. Here comes the fent. <laughs> That's a good idea, Dazed. Maybe Jeb was trying to get rid of Daryl. Possibly. So many, so many theories. It's been great actually getting people's uh, views on it. It's been fab. Emmett will ask for improvements to FS22. What do you think should be improved? It's a hard one, right? Because actually, I think, you know, the one, the one point four was a bit of a debacle, right? But equally, at the same time, they're not responsible for third-party mods. But even though it broke them, the, I, that could have been. A, I don't think there's any consistency to the testing of mods, or, or, in fact, there you go, guys. How about? We use the Discord this week, um, and you feed back to me the things that you think should be improved as well, and I'll try and get some of your views over to uh, over to Kermit as well. How about that? Uh, Preg, it probably takes. I mean, it takes me. I would say not full time, obviously, because I've got I've got to work and all of that stuff. Um, but it's the best part of a week best part of it. in terms of planning storyline you know i was doing graphics for the final episode the other day um there was lots and lots of there's lots and lots of bits and pieces 
um, looking for specific mods as well. Uh, but it's like three or four times a week. The micro stutters, I, I, I pick those up sometimes, Nathan, and then other times I don't. It's really weird. I don't even, so I you notice it. So, you know, while well mine, I will run at 60 frames a second, and it'll dip to 58 and back, you know, every five seconds dip to 58 and back up to 60, but it's just enough to have a little judder, the little micro stutter. Yeah. Yep, yeah, it's a good point, Scooter. Let's keep it keep it in the realms of common sense and actually practical. I mean, you know, let's not ask for um, GPS in for console because you know that that has been done to death, right? Pallet the pallet limit is a pain for PCs. I agree with that, Sean. And they're saying, oh, it's a performance thing, but I don't buy that. If that was the case, you need to put a bail limit in as well, right? I've, I've, I've seen more limitations with bail numbers than I've seen with pallet numbers. So, yeah, no, I think stuff like that is... I know Daze has his view on this. It's, it's that. Unfortunately, the game is being... Don't take this the wrong way, because I do think it should have B for consoles as well. But I think it's stopping the game being stretched as far as it could be stretched because they're they're capping what they do on PC to make sure that it that the it's consistent with consoles. What you don't want is a dumbed down version for consoles. So they've got to try and keep them as consistent as possible. But I have to say, you know, it's so many problems that people have with farm sim are self, like all of us playing now, you know, like we're, I think we are a relatively sensible community. We're like, we're pretty switched on. We know how to fix things if it goes wrong. We know if the game doesn't start and the, you know, the amount of the amount of comments I've seen over the last week, my game only goes to eighty five percent. My only game only goes to sixty percent. You know, your game's broken. It's rub, and you're like, well, hang on a minute. You you're running it on a ten year old PC. Um. You know, you've probably tried to ramp your settings up beyond the max, or you know, something you've done as a user has broken the game. It's not that giants released, it. and there are limitations, right? There are limitations on hardware, and there's so many. You know, there, there must be. A hundred thousand different, well, probably millions of different configurations of PC out there. You know, it's really hard to make a game that runs on all of those um, without kind of issues in some of the cases. So I think, you know, a lot of the cases, it's, it's a lack of awareness of when the when the problem is a game-based problem versus a you've done something silly at your end. You've got you've downloaded dodgy mods from a dodgy site that's broken a map or broken a game um, it is that's not Giant's fault right um, but equally there's always space for improvement there's always space for improvement in games and I think Giants Giants have got to counterbalance that that they're a small studio right they're under 70, something like 75, 75 uh, employees in total so if you think by the time you've moved uh, like management people, community people, uh, the sales people, or you know, marketing people. What's left in terms of devs, right? Um, yeah, I think so, Scooter. And I do think there is there is stuff that they just maybe haven't thought about. That, I mean, well, well, we've seen it, haven't we? You know, seasons, is, seasons is the perfect example of. Oh, that's a brilliant idea. We should implement. I mean, crikey, there's lots of stuff that was implemented in 22 that was good, mod ideas from previous games. And I think, um, if it's anything like, if games dev is anything like, um, dev for websites and apps. Um, if you're too dev heavy 
and not um, ideas heavy, you'll get uh, you'll get a lot of devs doing a lot of development work, but you won't get the genius ideas and the oh you should do this, we should try this. What about this as an idea? Or you don't have enough people that have got farming experience to go see this would work because this is what happens in farms. So, so I think there's. Um, I agree with that as well, Dave. I think it's too easy. Even hard mode on this, you, it, it's not a challenge to make. It's not a challenge to make loads of money, right? Um, I would love to see a real, real hardcore mode. Modders merit system. Yeah. I like that as well. Come on, Fent, what are you doing? Working out. Wonder why he didn't uh Where's he going now? Is he gonna do another lap of the field? He is, isn't he? Well, they've been running pretty well, to be fair. We've not had any issues. Here he comes, right. Have I got him on? Ah, that's why. I knew there was one we'd missed. Disasters, flooding, pests, wind, hail. Yeah, I think that would be great. And that, that, that gets to the point then that they've probably... I mean, what they've done from 19 to 22 with this is brilliant. But there's a shelf life to this. I wonder if, you know, I wonder if at some point they have to bite the bullet and go, do you know what, we have to switch to Unreal or Unity or something like that and have to have a bespoke or a custom version of it that incorporates all of the stuff that they've had to... And, and you know, it's a fine balance, right? Because they've got... There's a load of stuff that their engine does that no other engine in the world does out of the box. So they would have to do some serious amounts of customization to get it to the point at which, yeah, you'd get, you'd like, you'd get better graphics out of the box. You'd probably get much more authentic or real... Um, uh, good ground, ground textures and, and all, all of that stuff. But um, the whole you know, mapping of fields and all of that would have to be done. So, I've heard of vertical farming, Scott, but don't ask me what it is. Yeah, I think that's that's a that's a general modder issue, isn't it? Days is that the documentation for for um, giants giants engines and stuff is. Is limited at best still it tends to turn up like a year after so hard mode fsg starts off in a string vest i can wear a, I, could, I could i could pull off a string vest john um see where you've got a, a an exit point in the field where you where your course is. So I've got field 14 trailer weight. If you've got an empty trailer sitting there, I'm running three trailers. So if you've got an empty trailer sitting there waiting and you've got a full trailer that rocks up, he can't get to that weight point because the empty trailer's sitting there. So what you need to do is, uh, and he's gone now, but Mobo reminded me of this one, which is brilliant. You go into field exit and you pick the closest point so the, the closest point on the auto drive course, that's where it'll duck out of the field. So it's a little less uniform. Yeah, it's a good one, Scooter. Yeah. Nice. I'll uh, what I'll do is maybe I'll maybe I'll maybe just set up a a temporary channel on, on the on the Discord and
I think the inconsistency as well of, you know, what what substitute on days you've been first hand, you know, unlucky with this is what what there's, there's no clear, consistent guidelines for quality assurance of mods. Um, it it you know something like like days did a brilliant set of um, JCB tractors, and they went nope. There's other ones coming, and they're and you know call it favoritism. It, it was a German modder that uh, released a set of uh, released a pack of John Deere tractors. So you know what is the, what are the rules? What is what is the what are the ground rules? And uh, does everybody get treated the same? Now I. I think that you know there is guys like, like Oxy, who's been a you know a lifelong you know he's been doing it for years. The quality of Carmson is, you no know, not up for debate. Brilliant, brilliant mods. You know maybe maybe these guys do get a preferential. And I don't think anybody would mind that. Even you know what do you think, Dazed and Scooter? You're 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 modders. What do you think? You wouldn't be offended if if some of the big modders got you know. The ability to kind of skip the queue if you want, but maybe you maybe there's different tiers like the another you know, giant's partner program. Maybe there's different tiers of maybe there's a giant's modders program, and you can earn tiers as well, and you get different benefits as you go through those tiers. Uh, it has to slow mode has to be turned on by the by the person doing the broadcast CDO. You can't do it as a viewer, I don't think. I don't think you can, anyway. It was never... It was never close valleys. It was perfectly planned and timed. So that John Deere started to behave himself as well. That's good. But this is this is this is how you want it to run, right? We've left this now for, well, crikey, I'm I'm half an hour late finishing, so this has been running for forty five minutes now without a hitch. Um, it'd just be in the settings when he sets up a stream. I think it's one of the panels. Cedo, um, you just have to turn it on, and you can set the rate in there. Yeah, I think you're right there, Scooter. Base the, the the rules, the ground rules have to be the same for everybody. And it isn't, you know, with the best will in the world, you know, a, a minion weight. I'm saying nothing. <laughs> Funny how many people say giants complain about the mod icon, but they don't really show how to use the tool that created. Ah, the icon tool. Yeah, I think you're right. I think what 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 annoys people is, and Daisy again, I think you've had this as well. Is you you put it in, and they go, "Here's the stuff. Here's the stuff that's wrong with it," and so you fix all of that stuff. And then when you put it in again, it comes back with, here's another list of stuff that we didn't tell you the first time. And you're like, well, hang on a minute. Couldn't you have just told me all of that as well? Or it's almost like new stuff pops up that wasn't an issue before. And it's that lack of consistency that's frustrating. I have actually, haven't I, Scott? I just, I just went off on a, on a train of thought there. I think it might have been the Anna Burger on the deer. Cranky, that might have been the problem. The trailer, not the tractor. There you go. I think you're right with that as well, Mark. You know, if you've been building mods for 10 years and, you know, you've got a bit of a rep with the guys, that, oh, it's it's a... You know, here come custom with a new... with a new tractor. They know it's going to be pretty high up in the standards in terms of they know what they do and they've been doing it for years they know they know the ins and outs so you're right 
but you know what? It's 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 healthy still, isn't it? There's a lot of people. Yeah, exactly. Days, you know. I know. I know. You said you know they fixed the texture issue for you, which is brilliant. So, but you're right. You get the the, the flip side of that is. Um, it seems to be almost, dare I say it, a bit mood-based. Depending on what time of the day you get tested and who's testing it, it uh, it can be a completely different um, outcome. I have that risk. I have that issue at work as well. Our compliance and financial promotions people, if we're working with our bank clients, like some of it's just opinion, and you're like... <sighs> But if I spoke to somebody else, they would have a different opinion. Yeah. I think that's a good one to go see what Kermit says with that. And they might say there is there is consistency, but they've, they've never shared it. I've run out of fuel. I have run out of fuel. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. The harvester ran out of fuel. Well, if that's not a sign that it's time to go to bed, I don't know what is. But uh, we were doing all right then, weren't we? I'm glad it's running well. Okay, well, we'll come back. We'll finish this next week. We've got some other stuff to do next week. Um, on that point, good chat at the end there. Really starting to enjoy that. Um, hope you have a good rest of your week. Um... Like I said, I'm uh, I'm going to get my head into getting Wyoming done if I can. Um, I might have I might do a live stream on Saturday, depending on how I'm feeling about uh, AFB's new map, Spring Creek. We can have a little look at that. Um, but if not, I'll be sweating trying to get w uh, Wyoming done. But uh, uh, appreciate you all hanging out uh, as always. Thank you very much. Thanks for all the super chats, folks. Uh, really appreciate those and um, yeah we'll we'll catch up soon uh, but if you do want to let me anything let me know anything you want me to try and raise with Kermit next week and uh, we'll, we'll, like I said we'll set up a channel on the discord and we'll take it from there alright take care all the best guys see you soon bye bye